Hello everybody, today I have this 2014 Freelander Cascadia with a DD15 engine. Today I'm going to show you something. This truck has been running for a while, it's been outside the state, California, and uh, it just got back. Um, I was curious on uh, to check it out, you know, and everything, and to see how this, guy, this truck has been running. So it turns out then this truck has been running uh, with the same oil. They haven't replaced the oil at all. And the last time I myself replaced the oil was on October 23, 2019. This day, the day that I'm filming this video is April 15. 16 actually. Today is April 16, 2020. This this old chain was done last year. And he has he had 520,000 miles when I did the old change. Let's check how many miles he has right now. So this truck has 599 almost 600,000 miles and this truck has been running with the same oil which means then this oil, this uh, engine has been running with the same oil for almost 80,000 miles which is a big number right Detroit recommends to do oil change every 50,000 miles as maximum I don't actually recommend that because to me it seems way too much. But uh, I already saw this. Then this truck went over eighty thousand miles and still running with no problems, which makes me think they right. You can do it eighty thousand. I mean fifty thousand miles, but I don't like it because it is just too much miles for the oil. And you never know. So I prefer to do it every 30,000 miles. I replace all the filters, the oil, and that way the system stays good all the time. So there is no, never the point where the oil is about to get bad or the filters are about to get, get bad. The filters and the oil, they are always in good condition when I remove them because they're still in a good condition. They haven't run that many miles. And that's the reason why I do it, because doing an old chain is cheaper compared to doing a major engine service. So I just see it that way, but it's up to everybody how you want to see it. To me, I prefer to do it that way. But the point of this video right now is um, I can see them do the, uh, the D15 engines are pretty good. Because this truck has been running 80,000 miles and still running with no problems. If I start the engine, it's still running fine. I'm just going to do the old chain right now because it needs to do. It needs to happen right now. It needs an old chain. It cannot leave without an old chain. But uh, I see then, uh, then it's possible if you want to do the 50,000 miles interval. But this is possible if you use wood quality oil. I always use it with quality oils, which means that I always use Delo, Delbag, or Shell Rotella. One of two, one of those three. Sometimes I can use Texaco, also, and uh, and they're good. I don't use those brands, Prime something, Prime this or Majestic something. I don't use those brands because the quality of the oil is not the best i mean it is good oil but it is not the best oil if you use those oils you have to know then you have to do an oil chain in a long in a short period of time but when you want to do a standard oil chain as the way this one is but this one it is not normal this one is something else but if you want to do a standard oil chain which means that it's going to be thirty thousand miles or 50 if you want to go to 50 you have to use a good quality oil like a good good quality oil like the good brands because that will protect your engine because after many uh, miles of use the oil start losing their additives the oil is still good i mean the 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 viscosity of the oil is still good 
but the arises of the oil are getting away because you know the absorbing material they are like exposing to heat extremely heat and stuff like that and the oil start losing all those components and then the oil stops protecting the engine the way it's meant to be and that's the reason why adding good quality oil is important when you do like this because this engine has 80,000 miles as i say and engine has no problems but i say then i did the oil change myself and i made sure to use good quality oil and that's the reason why the engine is good but this doesn't mean that this oil this oil change gotta repeat again if i do the oil change i'm gonna redo it again every 30,000 miles the thing is like this truck disappeared for a while and just came back but remember you have to bring back the truck to your uh, place or somewhere to do the oil change because that is very important and that's it's going, what's going on with this truck so it needs a oil change definitely and i want to do it right now 80,000 miles is a lot but uh good thing the engine is still running fine so that means we just want to replace the oil and that's it but never do it again I made sure to tell the owner of the truck to don't do this again because this is bad for your truck. But it was just a little talk about this, nothing uh, special about this video. I'm pretty sure uh, you will have some questions about this video, so if you do, you can use the comment section below and ask me anything. You have experience, you have suggestions, you have recommendations, you have... Uh, any opinions or anything else to add to this video you can also use the comment section below so everybody else knows what you're thinking what is your point of view about this if you want to send support donations to my channel you can check the description of this video where i have details how to send support to my channel so i can help everybody with more videos and um who knows what else is gonna come and uh, make sure to like the video, share it, subscribe. It's very important when you subscribe. And thank you for watching.